Hi, I've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Tuesday, the 7th of August here in the Atlantic. A big story still Ernesto here in the Western Caribbean uh, now starting to uh, really strengthen. Uh, yesterday had a little bit of a brief period where it well, not so brief, all day, where it was knocked down a bit because the core that tried to develop was very small and ended up being unstable for it. It sucked in a little bit of dry air, collapsed to the very small eyewall that was trying to develop, and then the outer bands competed with the center for the rest of the day, and it neither strengthened nor weakened and stayed at a high tropical storm status just below hurricane strength. We now have central a dense overcast starting to develop again here. You see these thunderstorms around the center, and we'll probably start developing an eyewall again as time goes on today and the pressure is now down to 988 millibars that's down 8 millibars from yesterday and uh, this will probably become a hurricane easily before landfall though it, due to the delay yesterday we'll probably not have time to get more than a cat one landfall will be tonight probably near Chetumel or just north of here on the Yucatan Peninsula and you can see it has now started to grow in size the wind maximum near the center is still pretty small uh, but these outer bands here are pretty strong and in general the storm has grown and is very healthy looking you can see the outflow expanding all the way out to the west and to the northwest indicating a very favorable environment uh, as we talked about with this big upper ridging expanding over this area of the Caribbean allowing the storm to do its thing and uh, this will be moving across the Yucatan and uh, following the NHC track here as the models are now in very good agreement and the steering pattern uh, now uh, is perfectly aligned for this to happen uh, for it to turn west right away and move into the southern part of Mexico farther south uh, than uh, most projections including mine had it uh, before all of this came to pass uh, but uh, the pattern is now very clear the break right now is over uh, Pensacola Florida in the eastern Gulf of Mexico we would have had to have Ernesto up in here to the northwest of the Cayman Islands for it to be taking advantage of this and get into the Gulf of Mexico. So this is a Mexico problem as we've uh, said it would be for the last couple of days and uh, is going to be coming in towards Veracruz somewhere in here in the Bay of Campeche. It may re-strengthen fairly well if it gets enough time over water on this side. If it scrapes the coastline too closely moving west-southwest it won't have much time to re-strengthen but this could be a strong tropical storm threat if not maybe a minimal hurricane threat uh, for Mexico twice in a row here two landfalls in close succession and rainfall of course will be a big problem as this comes ashore so in general a bad storm for Central America coming up here and hopefully folks are prepared out here in the middle of the Atlantic we have X Florence over here still firing some thunderstorms but not a closed circulation will be drifting in here and then trying to recurve with time the models aren't really excited about this trying to redevelop and upper level conditions don't like they don't look like they're going to be particularly favorable and uh, we have 92L out here as well southwest of the Cape Verde Islands still not fully separated from the monsoon trough out here and uh, this is also coming across and uh, the models are also not very excited about this either and uh, we'll just have to monitor these as they come across the Atlantic often what happens is there's a lot of dry air out here in years like this knocks these down and then they come farther west and they become problems uh, farther west and sometimes the models don't see it so we should keep an eye on these just in case and uh, the GFS has also been hinting at the Gulf remaining somewhat active even after Ernesto leaves it keeps upper level ridging over the area and brings a couple of disturbances in here in succession and shows that perhaps some kind of low pressure could develop during the next eight days or so in here so we may not be done uh, close to home in the near future either uh, but right now not a lot of model support for anything significant to happen in here uh, but it is August and as we go forward we have the MJO uh, coming out the GFS and the European very bullish on phases one and two in here which supports uh, activity in the central Atlantic and actually most of the Atlantic in general uh, convection and upward motion should be becoming more abundant uh, as we head deeper into the month and deeper into the meet the meaty part of the season here so there will be activity to be had and uh, most a lot of Cape Verde activity as we've been discussing uh, that this year the wave train would be healthy and the GFS has been showing lots of Cape Verde waves coming off and developing so we will have to watch uh, this pattern as it evolves all right that's it for today thanks for watching